Welcome back to today's episode of Reality Check. It is episode 3 and as you can tell from the title and the um, thumbnail, it is a Halloween edition. I'm not going to go on with my boring intro, so let's just begin today's episode. So just a little context on, yeah, um, when I'm filming this, it is currently the 1st of November, which is when I am... I usually post my videos because that's just I said Sundays and at 12 p.m. So yeah, um, but Halloween. So I went to a really close friend's house for a sleepover, and that was my first sleepover ever. It was an eventful day. Like I did not sleep. We kind of got a little high on, you know, caffeine a bit. Um, that's completely fine. Um, we were going to watch scary movies, but as the scaredy cat I am, they were such nice people to not put on scary movies. Instead, we would watch, like, Harry Potter, because I haven't watched any Harry Potter films. Wow, big news. Um, and also Hocus Pocus, but we only watched half of it, but it wasn't really quite interesting, so that's why we only watched half of it. I guess that's why. And... Yeah, um, yeah, I guess in this episode, I'm really just going to talk about my experiences of Halloween, maybe. At first, I was going to film this podcast episode with my friends. That's why I brought my laptop to my friend's house. But, um, I didn't want to ruin the moment. And also, like, I just felt like we were really in the mood to, I wanted to socialize more. I felt like it would be weird if I suddenly just whipped out my laptop and said like I I kind of gave a disclaimer that I might like film like not film like record but you know I felt a bit awkward and also like I felt like it was a really good time especially because they're such close friends that like I literally share such major secrets with them like they're honestly like so close to me like I don't know how I got so lucky to get such amazing and close friends in high school I don't know how I got so lucky. Like, I'm glad I have them. Definitely. I'm glad that I have those friendships with them because they definitely do change my life in many ways. So, let's kind of move on from that. So, um, yeah, yesterday was eventful. Um, I kind of arrived at, like, 2 p.m. at my friend's house and I was the first one to arrive there and... You know, of course, the first thing you do when you walk into someone's house is to get a house tour. That's just something like a tradition, a mindset that people implement. I don't know. Um, yeah, so that happened. And then later on, we just kind of laid around, played Cluedo because I brought it over. Um, tried to figure out what was happening and eventually kind of gave up towards the end. So, and we ended up messing something up. So <laughs> that's completely fine. Yeah, so that happened, um, uh, we, I don't know, we laid on mattresses, watched Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, and we watched, like, a bit, we watched, um, The Corpse Bride on Netflix, it was actually pretty sad, um, a spoiler alert, I feel so sad, it's not really a spoiler, but, like, I feel so sad for Emily. Like, if you watch it, you'll understand why. But, yeah. um, It's actually pretty cute. It is a, like, I think, like, an animation or claymation. Can't really explain it well in words. So, yeah, go check it out. Um, It's pretty cool. I'll also try to link it down below. On my YouTube videos, definitely. Um, What else should I talk about? None of this is scripted because I'm like, um, 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 um. I'm sorry, I'm just really, I don't know, I didn't get any sleep last night, so, yeah, I feel a bit energised, I feel kind of tired, but I don't feel like going to bed, because I just have some work to do, and I also need to edit this video, not video, video and podcast episode, so I can post it, because I just felt like doing it, so yeah, and I have a presentation due tomorrow, 
fun times and I have three exams this week. You might be asking why I decided to go to sleepover in the middle of an exam period. Well, I guess I've kind of let go of that exam pressure and tried to stop stressing out because in the end I know if I stress myself out I'm just going to do worse instead of actually like chilling the complete the test exam and just kind of you know yeah kind of repel from that after that that happens just un- disconnect from that and it'll be really fun yeah so what do I talk about so Halloween um first of all I'm a really big scaredy cat like I am scared of the dark I have a massive fear of the dark just if you wanted to know nobody asked but just thought I should I don't know, say, um, I do not like clowns, I, I won't say I do not like, I detest clowns, I won't say hey, because that's a really strong word and I don't want to use it, let's just leave it at detest, um, a bit more than detest, a bit closer to hey, but I won't use hey, you know, especially like, I'm really scared of clowns, like in general, I don't like them, kill clowns, I don't know why that was a trend, a phase in like I don't know when that was like two years ago or something but why are there just people dressed up as clowns holding like a weapon or some tool of some sort chasing people around in like the dark or even in the broad daylight and just like threatening to kill them with that like or injure them or injure something with that weapon slash tool i don't know why it was why was there such a stupid thing invented yeah i really don't understand sometimes trends are so unpredictable and dumb yeah i'm sorry to you on clearly yes um so yeah trick-or-treating usually you do um um halloween i mean Halloween you usually do trick-or-treating but i guess that didn't really happen this year because corona that's completely fine i haven't actually properly tricked tricked or treat trick or treated before like i've never done it properly because i usually just go i used to just go to family and friends houses and just kind of like flex my outfit and then just quickly walk out in embarrassment and leave and exit that building yes that it was my wonderful amazing confident personality so yeah um during our little sleepover thing we had some deep talks where like of course every now and then we had to shed like a large rainfall of tears because we're all talking about emotional stuff like personal emotional stuff so yeah and then we eventually started talking finding topics to talk about because we did not know what to talk about it's so hard to think of ideas and it'll be so weird like things to say in this moment or like what should i ask now questions to ask to break ice to have an icebreaker yeah um i really don't know so there's no set instructions for that i won't make a set instructions for that yeah i honestly don't know what to talk about in this halloween episode um, by the way, I'm extending the date that my Halloween stickers, Halloween themed items are available on my shop. So if you would love, if you would like to check them out, I'll link the website link down below. I'm sorry, I just yawn. That proves how tired I am. That equals to zero sleep. I woke up at like 7 a.m. yesterday and currently it's almost 10 p.m. AM. I was about to say PM. God. Um. Yeah. So. That's happening. So. Yeah. I'll just leave them on. Until like. Perhaps half the month. Until I'm bothered to take them off. Because I just can't be bothered. Um. So what do you guys usually do at sleepovers? Um. Comment down below that. I don't know, so maybe I get might get an idea next time. Oh, some some people did makeup. Um 
Oh, we walked in the rain to 7-Eleven, a, like, convenience store, petrol store thing. And then, yeah, we just kind of bought, like, four sloppies, one for each person, one person, like, yeah, like, one person each. And, yeah, so that was kind of our little trip and we were like walking with our umbrellas or like hoodies on even if we did have a hoodie so we were like completely drenched and like I came back like I swear like not even an hour ago and I hung up my jacket immediately because it's so damp it was from like yesterday at like 7 p.m and like bro it's still wet like 12 hours later more than 12 hours so yeah that's my little story on yesterday um yeah i guess finding topics to talk about things is extremely hard because especially if you're in a group of people who don't like like what they called don't like um i can't think of the word what was I talking about before? I feel like at sleepovers, sleepovers, you either eat, sleep, talk, or find something else to do. I don't know. Watch movies, maybe? Or just something else to do. But, by the way, I'm just going to end this episode really quickly because I feel so tired. I'm going to sleep. Like, I don't know how I can last... How did I last zero hours of sleeping for like almost 20 not even yeah almost 24 hours of no sleeping wow i don't know what a terrible child okay so i don't really know what to talk about halloween so i'll hopefully see you guys in the next video next sunday at 12 p.m aest which is australian eastern standard time i think yeah so i'll see you guys then and hopefully you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time Bye, hopefully you enjoyed it.